All right, you're the last one. Don't screw it up. <laughs> Mark, uh, long time listener. Uh, it's a First time day. caller, thank you. <laughs> yes. I was just curious, your, your first book, Men in Black. Yes, sir. Uh, what sort of feedback have you gotten from the judiciary about that? Uh, well, the judiciary isn't in the business of writing letters to authors, are they, Judge? I don't, I don't think so. But um, that was a very, very difficult book to write because given all the decisions and all the history with the judiciary and all the criticism I knew I would face if I didn't write a 10,000-page textbook that nobody would read, you know, making sure that I hit every precedent, I just decided to do what I wanted to do, which was to, to go into the heart of some of these major areas and address them. Uh, uh, the only little criticism I got were a couple of whacks on the left, you know, who were saying, well, you say judicial review isn't in the Constitution, and yet you say that the court shouldn't have done or should have overruled X, Y, and so forth. No, what I said was judicial review is not in the Constitution. It's an implied power and therefore it should be used very, very carefully. And, um, and then uh, those, the cases where I said it should be used, I thought I explained them as best as I could. But, you know, that book has stood the test of time. It's amazing. I get callers now that, that, that cite, you know, it came out in 2005 that talk about that book. But then again, I was trying to take an extremely complicated set of cases and a history and put it in as plain of English as I could to try and, you know, that book sold over a quarter million copies on the Supreme Court. And I remember uh, Charles Lane was a reporter at the Washington Post, now he's an editorial writer, he's actually a pretty decent guy. I've only talked to him once in my life, that's why he's a decent guy. <laughs> but, but he did a story on this, this Georgetown or George Washington law professor. No offense, professors. I can't keep track of all of you guys, to be honest with you. One, one of these professors who wrote a book and was getting all these book reviews. Oh, it's the greatest book. It came out the same time. I, he sold 5,000 copies. So Charles Lane wrote the piece. He said, this book gets all this attention from these book reviewers, and Levin's book got no attention. Liberty and Tyranny was not reviewed by a single major metropolitan newspaper book review page. Not one, by the way, I didn't ask them to because I knew what they'd do anyway. <laughs> Not one offered to appear on any of the morning shows, any of the Sunday shows. They pretend it doesn't exist, and this should give you hope because 1.1 million copies later, it doesn't make a damn dime's worth of difference what they think. <laughs> God bless you.